What's going on YouTube? J2 User Born here and welcome to a special video right here. Right now I'm about to go ahead and go through frame by frame and we're going to break down the new trailer for Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons. This is the all new CG animated DC film. This is the first time I've ever done like a home video like CG thing. As you can see here, we can read the description here. Uh, as a lot of you know, I'm a big Super Sons fan. It's one of my favorite comic books of all time and this movie is heavily, heavily inspired by the uh, Super Sons comic book run by uh, Jorge Jimenez and Peter J. Tomasi. And it's just cool to see, like, the Super Sons, like, the, the old school Super Sons get, like, an animated film. So, the description here is, Legacies must rise to unearthly challenges as the children of Batman and Superman are charged with saving their famous fathers and the world in Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, Warner Brothers Animation's first ever all-CG animated feature-length film. Look for the always unpredictable Jonathan Kent and Damian Wayne to land on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray combo pack, Blu-ray, and on digital October 18, 2022. So five months out, we got an official trailer. We're going to actually get this movie later on this year. Uh, this is one that I actually think, if they up the budget a little bit, could have been a really successful animated film in theaters. I think the Super Sons are primed for that kind of material. Uh, the, the comic itself is absolutely incredible. It was one of DC's best titles, which, unfortunately, as we know what happened, uh, John Kent got aged up, and people have never been happy ever since yeah john is superman now in the comics but it's not universally well liked and it's just nice to kind of get the old school john kent back just just for a little bit uh, and seeing him interact off damien like i'm just getting like i'm, I'm getting a little bit nostalgic here because like i said i love super sons and as soon as that book kind of came out it was something that i felt like would have made a great animated film or even an animated tv series now the movie itself it looks to be its own original story right here uh, I'm sure they'll take inspiration from certain things, obviously the animation style, but in terms of everything else, it's going to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and go through this trailer, and then we can break the whole thing down. Warner Brothers Animation, DC Comics. So as you can see here, there's John Kent, Welcome to the fact. voiced by the kid from Shazam and It, and you can see this is the CG animation style. And then there's Damien. A lot of people were complaining about his haircut, which I had debates with people about. Uh, his hair takes up about like 20% of the screen. Uh, he's definitely got that full Vegeta look going on right here. Like, look at this haircut right here. Well, we'll watch it really quick, and then we'll break things down in a second. Yeah, definitely going from that CG anime style, as I like to find. A lot of movies are doing this nowadays compared to before. I guess it's a little bit cheaper. And plus, it allows them to kind of do that Jorge Jimenez art style a little bit instead of like hand drawing it because I think it would be more expensive but here they can kind of mimic that a little bit easier so I know the animation is not for everyone uh I'm fine with it it's not the worst I've seen I've seen like way worse looking animation at least it's got some of the personality of the classic Jimenez artwork and there you go there's the fist bump and everything and then look for it on Blu-ray digital so like I said it's a one minute trailer you know everything you need to know about this thing. The, the two have their very differences. It captures Damien's personality and the way he plays off John. Uh, it looks like the Justice League is going to be in it, and the Teen Titans. So yeah, let's go ahead and go little frame by frame, little details here. So you can see John right here. Look at how excited and ecstatic he is to be in the Batcave. A little bit different than how they initially met in the Jorge Jimenez book, but I think they're going to tone back some of Damien's kind of violence a little bit. But he still is going to play really well off him. He's just an excited kid. God, it feels good. And then, uh, obviously, Damien comes in here. There's this art style right there. He's got the massive uh, shark fin for a haircut. Uh, I mean, my goodness, how much gel has he used? I mean, look at how much, like, his hair takes up, like, the screen. Um, I'm not sure who voices Damien and Batman and Superman in this thing. But as you can see, look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. He's got his Vegeta haircut right now, so um, I'm, I'm totally fine with it. Like, I'm, I'm glad they kind of recaptured that kind of... Uh, that iconic Jorge Mendes like anime style, like uh, with the uh, the comic art until like live until this animated film here. John looks pretty good right here. Like I said, he's got the hoodie and the jeans and everything right here, and their dynamic is just already kind of on point. You can see right there, and I'm excited to see how this thing turns out. I know the CG animation style; it's not ideally my favorite either, but I think you know compared to like some of the other styles that we've kind of gotten, like I know the recent animated DC films have kind of taken over this archer animation style so i'm glad at least this one is doing something a little bit different i wouldn't mind if the adaptation like every adaptation kind of did their animation style a little bit differently try to maybe mimic the comic style which i'm glad this one's trying to do but as you can see here uh starro is the main villain of this movie he's just kind of like in the suicide squad this almost feels like 
the, the James Gunn Suicide Squad movie if Starro got out of Corto Maltese and decided to take over the world. So it's cool to see Starro get some love here. As you can see here, everyone else is just kind of, uh, I'm not sure who this person is getting attacked. Just kind of like some random stranger. As we can see, there's Lois there. This looks to be like right at the school there after Damien and John kind of meet up. Batman's taken over. Lex Luthor is taken over right here. Superman's taken over. I'm not sure how the Super Sons managed to kind of get away from it, like unlike everybody else. John's got a little bit of look and concern here. Damien's here. Like I said, I think these definitely like if you read the, the the comic you're like you're seeing it right there that's them that's the super sons and it just makes you kind of miss them a little bit too but like here we have the uh, fight scenes i think with the cg animation style they could do something a little bit different and unique with it uh the greatest battle right here so as we can see here here's other characters that are here so this is wally west kid flash there's martian manhunter there's uh garfield logan beast boy there's uh cassie sans mark wonder girl and then there's Oliver Queen Green Arrow. I guess the Super Sons are literally the only two people who didn't get infected by Starro. So they're going to have to save everyone in the world. So the action bit should be pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, Starro's taken over here. I'm surprised Martian Manhunter was able to get kind of duped rather easily. But like I said, the perfect team. And then right here, the fist bump. That's pretty much just all you need right there uh, for something a little bit exciting. This is only a one minute teaser, but it's going to have to hold me over for several months. And like I said, I'm just I'm just got a big goofy smile on my face because I just absolutely love the Super Sons, and it's just great to see them just get the much deserved animated treatment. Uh, I actually hope that this thing's a big success, and maybe we can get subsequent movies, or perhaps just like an animated series. I know this isn't the only animated film Damien I guess is supposed to appear in this year. There's supposed to be one called like Merry Little Batman, which is basically just Home Alone but with Damien as a kid and people try to break into like Wayne Manor or something. Uh, but instead of like Kevin McAllister, they get something far more <laughs> ruthless. You know, it's funny. I always remember like seeing some memes on the internet of that where it's like most dangerous person at prep time, Batman, Kevin McAllister. And then you kind of fuse those together and then you get Damien. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, Bruce and Clark have their own dynamics. Bruce is just like, we, we were never we were like, like that a bit. Or Clark's like, we were like that at that age. But it was like, I was a lot nicer. So like I said, the humor is on what point here and stuff and then uh yeah like i said i think they look pretty good for this style like i said it's not my favorite but it definitely mimics that and damien's got his vegeta haircut like that's all i'll say i mean my god look at it his hair is like bigger than like the rest of his body so and they, they still kept him shorter than john like if you notice right here so that's that's kind of funny i wonder how much gel he goes through like that's got to take a lot or maybe he's just like a saiyan and his hair never changes apparently so but yeah like i said we're gonna get some pretty good action here I'm not sure how it's all going to unravel or how Starro managed to take over the world, but, like, I don't really need to know anything else. I feel like I got the basic gist of it all. Super Sons are here. They got to save everyone, and that's all I need. If they got the dynamic on point, which it looks like they have here, they got the buddy-buddy stuff, they got a little bit of the uh, giving each other shit, and it looks to be a lot of fun. And you can see the love that the filmmakers for this had for Super Sons, that they're so closely mimicking the style, and even, like, the first bit where Damien throws the Batarang at John. I'm like, okay... That's pretty funny. That feels in line with something that he would do. So I'm really excited about this thing. I think a lot of people, like if we can go to the comment section, are going to be kind of the same week. Good to have the Super Suns back. Um, wonder how often we should expect stuff like this. Super Suns, amazing, amazing. Uh, people are definitely missing this over what happened with the current John. So there we go. People are really excited about this thing, and I'm really excited too. I, I think this is going to be. I think this is going to be a winner for DC. I really, really do. I think this is going to be probably their best animated film this year. Yes, they got Super Pets, and they've had various other things that have come out. Um, I've kind of fallen off interest in a lot of animated DC films. Uh, at least they're like home, home releases. There just hasn't been anything that's really kind of captured my attention. It wasn't huge into the Injustice movie. Wasn't too big into the Long Halloween or the, the Tomorrowverse or anything like that. Still haven't seen Catwoman Hunted. But I think this is the first one that's going to really kind of like grip me and engage me a bit after uh, all the other stuff that we've gotten. So anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough. I think we got like a rough idea what this movie's going to be like. Star Out takes over. Super Suns come in, eventually save the day. I mean, pretty standard stuff. I wonder what other DC characters are going to appear in this thing. Are we going to have like scenes with them hanging out with the Titans or maybe getting recruited to join some other like groups throughout the movie will we see talia al ghul i know we've seen lois lane in this thing but i wonder if we'll see damien's mom at some point in the movie it's all up in the air all up in the air speculation but i actually think that'd be kind of cool to see so who knows what will happen uh i don't know all the details but i just know that i'm really excited to see this movie but anyways i want to know your thoughts on the batman and superman battle of the super sons trailer did you like this thing did you dislike it 
Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications, all that other fun stuff. Uh, I do plan on doing like another live stream talking about this at some point. So yeah, I think that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, everyone. I'm getting up there in subs, getting close to 2100. And uh, there's more DC content on the way. All right, well, that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Go Super Suns.